Planar is a module that manages to be fun and functional at the same time. It can be as simple or as complex as you want, and it can be used in a number of different ways. It's described as a vector mixer slash quad panner, and this is to indicate the two main functions of the joystick in relation to the inputs and outputs. The joystick is laid out with four quadrants, A, B, C, and D, as well as an X, Y axis. Both the quadrants and the X and Y positions have inputs and outputs. The quadrant ins and outs can be used with either audio or CV, while X and Y are CV only. Inputs sent to the A slash pan quadrant are normal to the inputs of the other three quadrants. Additionally, there is a mix output for the quadrants. The XY inputs have attenuators to limit the amount of incoming modulation to the joystick position, and the outputs have switches to select between unipolar, that is 0 to 5 volts, and bipolar, negative 5 to positive 5 volts of CV. There's also two gate outputs. One is triggered by the red button, and the other is activated while the joystick is moving. The blue sense LED indicates while this is active. The joystick can be switched off, which resets its position to center, and this deactivates the CV outs in unipolar mode, but not in bipolar mode. What this means is that you can blend four different signals, send a signal to four different destinations, perform gestural controls of other modules, Activate sounds or sends by moving the joystick. Or you can use the gate out to manually trigger sounds and find sweet spots. Modulate the joystick position. or combinations of all of the above. Hopefully this handful of examples demonstrates just how flexible and powerful planar can be. So how do you use planar in your patches? If you have a planar patch, we'd love to hear it, so please tag us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Thanks for watching.